Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Um, haven't done a video for a while, but I thought this was a very interesting moment, uh, what's happening. So I wanted to, to share with you my thoughts um, on what's happening on a world level uh, from a astrological basis. Um, so I'll start uh, with uh, Mars. Uh, Mars, the, the planet of uh, war, uh, god of war, and, and the planet of, of aggression and of action, is um, at the moment uh, retrograde uh, from the... that started on the 11th of, of September and is going on until the 14th of November. So that's going to be a period which is complicated because Mars is in Aries, so that makes it even stronger than usual. Uh, it's in its own sign, so it's very comfortable and very strong. But being retrograde means it's the energy of, instead of being expressed outwardly, like uh, like an action would be, you know, we, we do something, we do it outwardly. It's going in, the energy is going in, so which means that the action doesn't get done and that builds frustration. Um, so we've seen that uh, there's lots of frustration around at the moment and, and that's building, and that's building anger, it's building frustration. And um, I wanted to highlight this because, I mean, you, you're probably all in feeling it to some degree or another. And a little bit, a uh, piece of advice to, to handle this is uh, try not to act this um, frustration and anger in an aggressive way. Because usually when Mars is retrograde, the aggressor will lose out. So try to stay calm, try to be constructive, try to find a way to, to say things. I mean, definitely say things, don't stay quiet, don't swallow it because it's not good either. But don't be aggressive about it because then you're probably going to uh, trigger the same reaction back from, from others and that's going to be even uh, more complicated afterwards to handle. So my advice is very much have balance in, in your life, try to um, have play time, have exercise time, have rest time, don't make it all work. Uh, you know, yes, we're going through a difficult period um, it's going to last some time. Um, humanity has always gone through difficult periods and we always have come out of them. So, yes, it's going to be complicated, but uh, don't worry, it's going to get better. Um, so this, this must retrograde, especially energy, like I say, until the 14th of November. It's especially, especially going to be difficult still until the 23rd of October, which is the last square of Mars to the Capricorn stellium, uh, which I'm going to talk about next. Um, but you have to remember that uh, back in March, when March 2020, when there was a lot of panic around, Mars was conjunct the Capricorn stellium. The Capricorn stellium at the moment is Saturn, uh, Pluto and Jupiter, who are all three in Capricorn. So Mars was conjunct all these three. Uh, at the end of March. Now it's squaring those three planets. It has progressed, Mars has moved on and is squaring and therefore a square is also a very complicated sometimes aspect in astrology which, which shows um, there's going to be lots of frustration and plus it's retrograde. So yes, it's, it's complicated. So like I say, try to take it easy. It's not going to last forever. Um, and uh, try to be constructive with uh, whatever you feel, find uh, avenues and, and usually then people will, will react well um, when we do that. Uh, people will not react so well if we, if we snap or if we, if we become aggressive, okay? The other topic which is linked to this is is like is the Capricorn stellium that I was mentioning. So so Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter still are in Capricorn. They've been there for the whole year, and it's be, is getting now quite intense because we get into the end of it. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn will leave Capricorn on the twenty first of December. 
when they together move into Aquarius. And, and that's also going to be very interesting because that's going to be a very powerful moment around Christmas time. Uh, but, and I will do a video about that later on, but uh, at the moment uh, we are seeing uh, that Jupiter and Pluto are going to meet on the 11th of November. There's going to be a conjunction between those two planets. And that's a third conjunction. Um, so that's going to be very, very powerful as well. So those three planets together is really what's been causing um, everything we've been seeing uh, this year. Uh, Pluto especially, the great transformer, and being in Capricorn with the other two planets, which is magnifying everything, means that um, the society structures, which is Capricorn, the government, the authority, the economy, the big companies, are all being challenged. Uh, they're all being challenged to transform. This is this is really a time when, again, we are we must transform. This is a year of transformation. This is a year where Pluto is the boss, and and Pluto wants to transform. So there's going to be like in every transformation, there has to be a collapse of the old for the new to be born. So yes, now we live in the collapse. We are we are we are living. You know, there are there are parts of society, sectors of the economy which are collapsing which were unsustainable uh, on, on some levels. Uh, of course, there are, there are also other sectors which you, you, you would think, well, well, why does this have to die? I mean, it, was, well, it wasn't that bad that it was a, a bar where we could go and have a drink, you know, and now we don't have it. Yes, yes, it's true. But um, in, in all big changes, there is going to be uh, pain, there's going to be suffering and and all that is always for the evolution, for the collective evolution, for the good of the collective evolution, because that's going to free a lot of energy. All these people who are suddenly, yes, going to be out of a job, are going to start putting pressure on society. Are going to start putting pressure on the government, saying, "Hey, do something about it. You know, we need a solution here, and we're going to have to start thinking. Okay, what solutions do we bring? Right? So, so that's good, uh, even though there is there is there is pain." Um, so we're living a, a very dense en energy at the moment. And um, specifically, like I was saying, Pluto-Jupiter coming together on the 11th of November means, is, is usually linked, this is the third passage this year. For, uh, it was the first one was in April, second one in June, and now is the last one in November. And that's usually linked with extreme measures. You know, in April we had lockdowns. In July, in July, in the US is when it all the second wave of COVID started, and it got uh, there was some restrictions. And now we're seeing more restrictions in Europe, and it's going to get probably more complicated as November uh, comes. So be patient. That's not going to last forever. Um, but yes, there's going to be extreme extreme measures. Also, Pluto is, is a planet of debt and, and Jupiter uh, expands everything. So, yes, debt's going to rise. Debt's going to go through the roof. Uh, it's going to become unsustainable in many places uh, for some countries. Some countries may default. There's already talk about that. Um, and there's already talk, okay, what, what's the limit of, of debt that we can have? So, again, that's a topic that's going to be very much there. And there's also a corruption. Corruption is going to come out. Uh, uh, Pluto is, is secrets, is things which are hidden, very powerful things which are hidden, but Jupiter brings it up. So we're going to see uh, many things which are like uh, scandals, and uh, I'm not going to mention names, but you'll know, you know, of uh, people who had uh, uh, financial um, uh, fraud going on, and, and then it all comes to the light, and... Uh, so all, all sorts of corruption is, is certainly coming coming to the light, which is obviously a good thing. And um, so uh, what's interesting is is that the Mars, which I was talking about earlier, is, is squaring uh, this Capricorn stellium, where all this transformation is happening. And so the Mars is going to say... It's going to be frustrated at all this. There's going to be frustration from the individual, from the ego, which is which is Mars, which is 
to the towards the governments for for how they have handled this or for how they have not handled this uh, there's basically going to be definitely lots of frustration that's going to be expressed and there's going to be lots of um, protests we're seeing protests in thailand we're seeing protests in belarus we've seen protests um, i mean we saw plenty of protests in uh, in the us in, over the summer um as well um, but there's, it, there, there, there's a climate of protest and you can feel people are now rebelling also against the, the, the lockdowns and the, and the measures, you know, which they say, right, this is, this is going to make me bankrupt. And yes, it's true. So, so the individual is going to start fighting. It's going to, it's going to, and it, it's, it's a good thing. It's definitely good to show that the system, the individual is going to show the system, hey, you know, you cannot just do whatever you want with me. So, so there is going to be they're going to have to have to find a compromise and 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 that's go, that we're going to see over the next few weeks the other um point that i want to mention in in today's video is, is the fact that we are entering a new moon today is new moon today is new moon in libra and and libra is all about justice it's all about making decisions and and fairness and and Lib the new moon in Libra is directly opposite the Mars and squaring as well uh, the Capricorn stallion. So we're going to have to make decisions. We're going to have to make decisions which perhaps go against the governments or go against the establishment. But the Mars is going to force us. I mean, we we're going to weigh this for a while, but then the Mars is going to say, OK, now you've got to act. Or if not act, we certainly have to sow a seed. And, and begin a process of debate. Now, now is definitely a, a very good time to establish a new uh, base for a later changing and making decisions, making new decisions, which are going to directly transform structures and transform uh, companies, governments, um, and the more we do that, the easier it will be. If we don't transform it, we say, no, 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 I want things to be the way they always were. I want to go back to the past. I want to be how it was. It's, it's, it's not going to work. We need to transform. We need to find new solutions. And, and now it's a, it's a very good time uh, to start thinking about that. To start thinking about, okay, how can we make this fair? How can we make this just for the individuals, for the people, uh, for everybody? And, and the government needs to take that into account. The companies need to take that into account. Okay, so, so that's, that's important. So we have got all that dynamic at the moment playing between Mars, the Capricorn stellium, the Mars retrograde, the Capricorn stellium, um, and uh, the, the, the new moon. And that's going to be, uh, I mean, the new moon is going to last a month, but... All this dense energy that we are living now to the Capricorn stellium and, and the consequence of it, we're going to feel it until probably Christmas. And afterwards, in the new year, probably going to feel, OK, that's going to be a different energy now. You know, we're moving into Aquarius and it's the beginning of a definitely of a new 200 year era. So we're going to start feeling big changes then. But um, until then, uh, well, be patient. And don't worry, this is not going to last forever. But again, next year is not, we're not out of the woods completely. There is still Saturn uh, will be squaring Uranus. And whenever that happens, there are economic crises. Uh, stock markets uh, start falling. Um, so uh, there is a risk that the, the, the health crisis turns into an economic crisis next year. But again, that will not last forever. So there's going to be some challenges still ahead, but um, it's going to get better then, especially from 2022. Uh, but until then, I mean, things are going to start moving from, from, from next year, definitely. And it's going to feel much more optimistic uh, next year. So right now is really perhaps the next few months the, the hardest part of all, but don't worry. Um, it's going to, we're going to, we're going to get through it. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you all take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you soon.